YouTube. Today I'm gonna open the Nerf Zombie Strike Brain Saw. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Now let's open it. Whoa. Here's the blaster. It is really cool. Now it holds eight darts, four on the side, four on the other side, they take zombie strike darts. You fire it, you cock it back, pull the trigger. And it does have slam fire too. And my favorite part of the blaster is the chainsaw part. That's why it's called the All I need to do is pull this little lever right here and I can just go and you can just hit people with it. And a good thing is the end of the blade is foam, so you can hit people and it won't hurt. You see? I'm hitting my hand right now, it doesn't hurt at all. It has two sling mounts, one in the back and one on the front, if you want to attach a sling. And it has one tactical rail on this side only, right here. And what's interesting is this is the first Nerf Blaster I've ever seen that actually has a try me. Right here it says try me, which is if you want to pull this and see, and see the saw. When you get the blaster in the box, it's not fully assembled like this. There is a little bit of assembly. There's this one handle piece and you just put it in these little holes on the side, one here and one here. You just snap it in. And when you have the handle on, you can hold it like this. You can do this. And whatever you want, it's really cool. Darts load in here like this. One, two, three, four, and then the other side also holds four. One, two, three, four. So you can hold it like this, go wherever you want. You can shoot people when you're out of ammo. Just saw them down, which is pretty cool. Um, this is my favorite zombie strike blaster so far. The, this is basically also like an upgraded version of the crosscut. And the crosscut is a little zombie strike pistol. And the crosscut shoots and has a blade to get down zombies, just like this one, but this one's bigger. And while the crosscut has that double trigger system where with your middle finger you press the other trigger to make this move, this one has that string. to make the blade move. I really like how they added the handle to it. Let's shoot it now. So the handle down here to cock the gun and then pull the trigger is right here. You just pull it back and forward like this. It kind of looks like a screwdriver to me, which I think is pretty interesting. I like on all zombie stripe blasters how they made this on the handle to make it look like there's some tape or rope around it, like it was damaged by the zombies. That doesn't really affect the gun in any way, I just th think it makes it look cooler. So let's fire now. Let's do slam fire now. Out of ammo. Here we go. Let's destroy the zombies. So this is, would be, even for a regular Nerf War, this would be very useful if you don't have any melee weapons, because you can run out of ammo pretty fast in Nerf Wars. Well, at least I do. I just use all my ammo right in the beginning, so I always have to switch to my melee weapon. You can sneak attack somebody. Um, I think this is pretty cool. If I used this blaster, definitely I would carry some extra ammo on me, but I probably wouldn't even use it all on purpose, just so I could use this thing. I love how they added this feature. I always wanted a Nerf blaster that was a chainsaw. And now, I finally get it. And I like, I really love Nerf, how they made it more realistic with more of those realistic older chainsaws where you actually get to pull a handle. The older crosscut, you had to 
push it another trigger with your middle finger. And that still works, but it's just not as realistic. I like this more. I think this is really cool. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye, if you think so, please subscribe. Peace out.